Number 25, what is the ideal banking angle uh, for a gentle turn of 1.2 kilometer radius on a highway with a 105 kilometer per hour speed limit, about 65 miles per hour, assuming everyone travels at the limit? All right, so basically this is asking for banking angle. So um, we have a formula down here that details the optimal banking angle. All right, um, so I'll write it at the top. So tangent of theta, which is the optimal banking angle. You can even call it sub B. All right. Although the uh, although when you get to optics, there's and, re and refraction, I should say, and reflection and all that stuff. There's a angle called the Brewster angle, which is actually called theta sub B. So uh, just don't confuse them over time. But you you guys are still a little bit away from that, so shouldn't be bad. Just we'll just use a B. All right. So we have uh, v squared, which is the linear velocity or the tangential velocity squared divided by rg. All right, so in order to find the angle, right, all I need to know these three things. Now they gave us these things. I mean, really, I only need to know two, right, because the third, um, it's always a known, right, gravity 9.8. So um, velocity has to be meters per second, but they gave it to us in kilometers per hour over here. So let's just do a simple conversion. All right, so 105 kilometers per hour, we need to convert that into meters per second. So kilometers on the bottom, meters on the top, a thousand meters in one kilometer, so they cancel. Now we got to get rid of the hours, so since they originate in the denominator, I place them in the numerator. And then I know the relation between hours and seconds, right? There's 3,600 seconds in an hour. If you don't know that, you could have went to minutes and then go to seconds, but you'll realize that when you multiply 60 by 60 there, it's going to be 3,600. So this is kind of a shortcut. So 105 times 1,000 divided by 3,600 comes out with uh, comes up with the number of 29.2, 29.2, and that is meters per second. All right, so this will be our uh, velocity. So great, so we solve for V. Um, now the radius of the turn, right? And it tells us it has a gent it's a gentle turn, very gentle, um, of 1.2 kilometer radius. So they did tell us the radius, but you know, again, they gave it to us in kilometers. So let's just simply take that value 1.20 kilometers, multiply it by a thousand, or simply move the decimal three places to the right. All right, uh, and that would get you uh, 1,200 meters. All right, so this is the radius. Now all we got to do, plug it all in. So the tangent of theta will equal uh, 29.2 squared all over the radius, which is uh, 1,200 multiplied by 9.8, and we get then tan of theta, tan of theta equaling, let's see, we got 29.2 squared divided by parentheses 1200 times 9.8, and it works out to some, be something like 0 0.0725, right? 725, and then do the inverse tangent of both sides, okay? So it's basically gonna be tan to the minus one of this value, All right? When you do that to the a left hand side the tan cancels. So just simply do second tangent if that's how your calculator works. I'm using the TI 84. 0.0725 and we get 4.4, excuse me, 4.1, 4.14, It It looks like it's gonna be 4.15 if I uh, consider how to round, all right? And that's in terms of degrees. So that is the ideal banking angle. Fairly straightforward. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.